Hi, welcome back. Um, I am back again for another makeup video. So I came up with a challenge today. I don't know if I'm the first person to do this. I strongly doubt that, but it's just an idea I had, so I'm going to run with it. Basically, today I'm letting Google pick my makeup. <laughs> So for each step of my makeup routine, I have several products that can be used for that. So for example, for eyebrows, I have the pencil liner I've been using. This is the L'Oreal one. And then I have the Ulta Brow Expert. I have the L... Then I have the ELF product, which is um, a cream and a powder. So. These are the three products I have, and then I'm going to assign them each a number, so that this being one, this being two, and the elf being three. So I'm going to type in random number generator, and then because there are three products for this round, I'm going to do it out of three, and it will pick for me number three so I assign number three to the elf product so this is what I'm gonna use to do my eyebrows today which so it's been almost a year since I've really used this product but I used to use it religiously back when my eyebrows looked like this <sighs> not the fondest of memories so I'm gonna go in with the wax on this end or is this this is like a cream kind of situation um, I used to use this. This was during the like Instabatty brow era. Um, this product is also like expired, like 100% expired. I was talking with my friend Zoe about this actually, like how much of our makeup is expired. Like it's so much. I've had some of my makeup since like freshman year of high school, which is five years now, so. Okay, there's the brow. Not bad. Definitely not as bad as I used to do them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera. I'll be right back. So I went ahead and primed my eyelids because as you might know, I usually do my eyes next. So for this one, this is gonna be really interesting because as you know, I pretty much only use the James Charles palette and like I use colors from other palettes but like that's the main one. I have six palettes um, that I'm gonna be proposing. So number one is the Kylie Burgundy palette. I used this in my most recent video. It's super cute. I used to be so obsessed with it. Um, there was a period of time in high school where like this is all I wore on my eyes. And like every day I had like a burgundy red eyeshadow. Number two is going to be the Naked Smoky palette. I don't like smoky eyes. And that's pretty much all you can do with this palette. Obviously it's for smoky eyes. This was a gift. I do love it. I think it's gorgeous. I just... Smoky eyes are not my forte. Number three is the Morphe 350 palette. I love this palette actually. I think it's super gorgeous. Number four, the James Charles Morphe palette. We all know and love. So near and dear to our hearts. Five will be this. This is the Tarte Flirt palette. And I think it's pretty obvious what direction this would go. A very neutral kind of eye. But I think it's really, really pretty. And this was a gift from Francesca. Love her so much. I love this palette so much. It's so gorgeous. And it smells really good. And number six will be the NYX Ultimate Brides palette. This one could also really be a challenge because there's not any neutrals. Okay, screen record is on. Changing the max number to 6 and generate 2. This was number 2. Guess we're doing a smoky eye today. This will be very interesting. I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. I'm going to be trying a new shape of like cut crease and shadow which is probably not the best idea considering I'm not super comfortable with this palette in general but that's what we're doing um so I'm going to take brown which is this color in whiskey it's just a chocolatey brown and just apply that in this part of my eye shape 
just like this and not go out all the way and I'm going to take Combust which is the nude shade and just blend that out I don't know what I'm doing thinking I can take on a new cut crease shape and this palette at the same time who do I think I am? So now I'm going to cut my crease I'm going in now with the shimmery colors on my lid now so I'm going to be using probably just these two. This is the colors Armor and Slanted, these two, um, just on my lid. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with that brown. And a little bit of the dark gray in the color password and just try and create like a wing shape here oh my god this is getting messy I'm gonna blend this top part out with that same nude just try and create it really blend it together I'm going to clean up this edge here because this is atrocious, but it won't be too bad, I think. You know what? We knew this challenge was going to go downhill, okay? Did we think so soon? Probably not, but... Here we are. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen or done. We're gonna just go with it. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I did the other eye. As you can see, they are not perfectly alike, but they're very similar. It's as good as it's gonna get. So my next step is foundation. Um, number one is going to be the Infallible Pro Glow from L'Oreal. This is not a good shade match for me. It Number two is going to be my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is Soft Beige. This color, by the way, this one is Natural Beige. This is Soft Beige. Um, I like this a lot. I think it's a pretty true color. Um, next is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. I really like this formula a lot. This one is a pretty good match also in the color Buff. And then lastly, I have Tainted Moisturizers. These are the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh ones in medium and medium deep. So I usually combine these two, so I'm just going to put them combined as number four. I am nervous for this one because, as I said, that is not my color, so this could go south. Okay, so I have four options. And we're going to generate... Um, I guess I'm going to be using L'Oreal Infallible. Now the product itself is not bad, I want to make that clear, like, it's not a bad foundation. And I know a lot of, like, other YouTubers who love this stuff. It's just not my color. Okay, so it's like fully blended in now. You can kind of see. It's not the greatest match. I only have one kind of concealer, so I'm just going in with that now. I, same with concealer. I actually only have one kind of powder, so I'm going to go in with that now. Okay, now that my base is done, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyeshadow. I will be right back. I went in and smoked out the bottom and then added a little bit of the lightest color on that inner corner. <laughs> now we're going to do eyeliner. So, as you know, I am a fan of colored liners, so we're going to throw a couple of those in there. But I have classic black. I have white. 
So, number one, number two. Um, number three is going to be pink. Number four will be purple. And for number five, I'm going to go with this one, which is a pencil liner, which I hate pencil liners. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and then six is actually going to be no liner, so. Okay, let's see what we get. Out of six, generate number four. Okay, so the purple. This could be interesting. So, I'm going to outline this cut crease line and then just do like a regular liner and see how that goes. I think it's okay. I don't really dig this liner, but I don't think it looks bad. I'm gonna go with it and I'll do the other one off camera. Alrighty, so my next step is contour. And so this is number one. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is gonna be number two, the e.l.f. Cool Bronzer. I have not touched this in so long. Um, number three will be from this old Ulta palette I have. This dinky, janky palette. This color right here, which as you can see is not really a contour shade for me, but we will make do if need be. Number three. And then number four is just the Ulta Contour Kit. I use this regularly. Um, this is one of those products I've had since freshman year, so. Switch this to four and generate number one. Okay, interesting. I haven't used this in a hot minute because it's very harsh. Like, it's a very dark color on me you'll see in a sec yeah very dark on my skin um it's also cream obviously which is not something i'm extra comfortable with um but we're gonna we're gonna use it i guess so that went not badly i feel like it actually went pretty good um am i crazy or like i feel like cream products are just messier it's not my favorite but i think it worked out kind of okay so my next is going to be my blush so number one is going to be my elf blush this is in the color mellow mauve i have not used this in literally years this is probably middle school like aged like not even freshman year like middle school so that's kind of nasty and then I have my Lorac blush you guys know this is a classic of favorites then again from this nasty Ulta palette this is gonna be number three this peachy color right here okay we're gonna change this to three now generate number three so that's gonna be this peachy one which actually I think that this is gonna complement nicely with like the really um gray toned eye so next is highlight and of course i have my glow kit my anastasia glow kit so this is probably going to be one of the most i have options for because i'm actually going to do each pan as a different number so we're going to go like they appear one two three four five six and then i have these two so this is going to be seven and eight then i have this which is the elf golden bronzer and it has this color right here which is a highlight shade so this is going to be nine i have these three products um these are liquid highlighters this is going to be 10 11 and 12. okay i'm gonna get out my computer all right here we go this is number two out of 12 generate one can you believe that out of 12 it just goes one okay kind of boring it's the shade i almost always use which is this one snow okay 
So next, of course, is mascara. Number one is going to be my Voluminous Feline. Number two, my Lash Paradise. And number three, this NYX Voluptuous Lash. I'm going to go ahead and do my generator now. Okay, out of three, generate. Oh, there we go. Two. It took forever, but two. So this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Okay, so I went in and did my mascara now. At the moment in my collection, I only have one kind of lash and one kind of glue. So I'm actually going to do lashes or no lashes. So lashes will be number one and then no lashes will be number two. I'm actually pretty nervous for this because this look is so heavy. I feel like it really needs a lash to just bring it together. Okay, okay. So this is out of two. One no lashes, or one lashes, two no lashes. <sighs> okay, I'm not upset about it. Okay, lastly we have lips. So I have like 300 different kinds of lip colors. So I'm really just doing one of each kind of color. So number one is going to be a red. Number two... I have this nude. Number three, we're gonna just do this Fenty gloss. Number four, this kind of dark burgundy. Number five is gonna be this, which is like a very dark plum color. And number six, I have this, which is like a really pinky, glossy color. And number seven will just be this really clear shimmery gloss. So let's do this. Okay, this is out of seven. Generate. Number seven. That is this clear gloss. This is from Ulta. It's actually really gorgeous. It's super just tiny little shimmers. And it has like a little bit of a gold tint to it, but not too harsh. Okay, so this is my final look. Um, I actually really like how it came out. I don't think I would ever really go for anything similar to this in the first place, but that's the fun of this. It was really fun to like challenge myself to use things I never really do. Um, I think honestly it came out kind of cute. I'm still upset about the lash. This would look so much better with a lash, but... The Google, the Google gods have spoken, so I guess not. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This was quite a time. I think that's all I've got for you. I'll see you soon.